Okay, the next topic is on food service characteristic. For this topic, we'll look into the segmentation of food service. So basically, food service can be divided into two, which is the first one is commercial segment. So in commercial segment, the primary activity of a food service is actually selling the food. So that is their main activity. And the profit is also desired. And they have excellent facilities. Plus, it is based on what people want. So for example, okay, this is what we normally, we normally go to. Okay, the examples are quick service or fast food. Then there's full service restaurant, convenience store, airport restaurants, and also sports events. That is for commercial segment. And the second segment is on-site food service, also known as non-commercial segment or institutional. So here for this segment, the sale of food is secondary activity. It means that um, they actually provide a different service, but then the food is actually a secondary activity. And the profit, it is not profit oriented, but at some places, they just want to have break even in expenses. And the basic and have very basic facilities. Plus, it is not based on what people want, but on what, but on what they can actually afford. And some of these operations are actually subsidized by government. So the examples for on-site food service segments are actually hospitals. Okay, for example, if you look at hospitals, the primary is about primary activity is on uh, medical, but then they also provide food to the patients. And then there are schools, colleges and universities, senior care, military, as well as employee feeding. So food service can be further broken, broken down into uh, limited service or limited menu, and also a full service uh, restaurant. So if you look at limited service, limited menu, how does it differ from a full service? So a limited service is sometimes referred as quick service or fast food. So as you know, in fast food, they provide very limited uh, number of food items and also in a short period of time. In terms of cost, in terms of price, they are able to um, sell their product um, with a very low price because of their standardized product. And often they use this counter service and pay before eating. So you can see this, for example, if you go to McDonald's, where you actually come up to the counter and choose from a very limited menu items and then you pay and you take your meals to the table. So they usually target working professionals and individuals who want quick meals at an affordable prices. The second one is a full service restaurant whereby they provide weighted table service for customers. Um, here guests are greeted and then the orders are taken and when their orders are ready, it is delivered by the wet staff to the table. So payment normally occurs after a meal is complete. The style and ambience varies from casual to fine dining. So in a full service restaurant, it can be um, fully, it can be divided into three types, which is you have the fine dining and casual dining and also fast casual. So if you look here, the, the three types, um, what are the difference between these three types of um, dining? So fine dining is normally referred, or you can say it's called a white cloth service, whereby they provide uh, top-notch service, top-notch quality of food, and you can see that the ambience is very different from your normal restaurant. Okay. But then in fine dining, of course, you have to pay more for this type of service and the type of food quality. And then you have the casual dining. So casual dining, for example, we have here in Malaysia would be example would be like secret recipe, um, Nando's, okay, whereby um, the quality of food is better, um, price is mid-range, but then the ambience is very relaxing, okay, um, so people normally would go there to celebrate birthday, to just hang out with friends. And then the third one would be on fast casual, so fast, fast casual here means it's a growing segment better than a fast food segment, whereby the quality of food is higher than a fast food, but then at the same time, they also offer a speedy service. I think that's all for this topic, so I'll see you next topic.